Um, it's been a while since I've done the saxophone thing. Um, I still practice, probably not as much as I should do, but I'm still practicing. Uh, I think I may have shown this before. It's, um, it's a tenor saxophone, slightly bigger than the one I normally play, uh, from Boozy and Hawks. Um, it's a bit bashed up and beaten and it's a bit abused, um, but it was a cheap saxophone. Um, but I've been trying to get a tune in my head, or in my fingers, or in my brain, whichever way it works. Um, a tune that probably to most good saxophone players would think, ah, that's pretty easy, but to me it's been a challenge. Um, a lot of you are going to know it as a cartoon character. So let's try it. This is going to be terrible, because I'm, I've only spent the last couple of weeks learning it. Um, and I'm not that good. <laughs> there you go. Right. Let's try it. See how we get on with it. Ready? towards the end. I did warn you I'm rubbish um, and I've done it better than that but it covers because the, the camera's there pointing at me. I'm not going to do it better than that. But talking about the saxophone, as I said it was it was a cheap purchase and I spent a bit of time getting it right, making sure that you know, everything was closing, everything was sealing properly. But I know for a fact the saxophone's holding me back so give me a minute. Got an idea. So, it'll probably come as no surprise. Bought <laughs> <What>, another one! <laughs> um, I've got a Yamaha Alto, and now I've got myself a Yamaha Tenor. So, let's try the same tune on a better sax, I think a better sax. Let's see how it goes. Again, I'm still getting used to the fingering on this one. I've only literally picked it up today. Um, bit of a backstory on this one, but yeah. Maybe another day I'll tell you. Right, let's give it a go. Still fuffed it up in a few places, fuffed, I said. But um, yeah, it's it's a lot easier to blow. That one, the Boozy and Hawks, I seem to be bah, puffing a lot into it. Well, this one's a bit like the Alto. It seems to take less breath to get the same noise out of it. Um, and it's in really, really good condition. Um, the guy who sold me this is actually a member of a very famous 80s band. Um, with a very big guy as the lead singer. Um, but yeah, I'm impressed. So what can I make out of this video? Well, if you're gonna buy a saxophone to start playing with, then as I did, get yourself a cheap one. It's not a problem. Um, but when you start getting better, you get to know that the saxophone is holding you back. I think now I've got this one, and it's, it's not a Yannis Gassar or anything like that. It's not a Selma. You know, but it's a Yamaha, very good make, very well put together. I think this is going to help me no end. Uh, and I'm sort of getting more and more into the tenor sax. And again, I think that's from my growing up days, watching uh, Madness, people like that. But anyway, this is my new Yamaha sax. And this is my new tune, which I'm going to have to practice a lot, lot more. But thanks for joining me. I say it's been well overdue for a sax video. And um, yeah, back to practicing.
if you're learning sax as well, stick with it. <laughs> it's a hard work, I know, but stick with it. Thanks a lot, Internet. Catch you later. Just one bit of supplemental at the very end of the video. I can never play on my own and I find it difficult to practice because of distractions. Let me show you what I mean. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.